Hello Divine Souls, welcome to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So let's see what the collective energy is in this Twin Flame reading today. You had your suspicions about your Divine Masculine. You had a hunch that he was up to his same old tricks. But you quietly observed and waited for the proof in the pudding. Your spidey senses were up. And you started to hone in on his behavior. You started to pay attention to the little things, like how often y'all had sex, how often he communicated with you throughout the day, how often he came around, and you started to see that your divine masculine became more distant and detached from you. For some of you, something happened around Valentine's Day, your birthday, 4th of July, maybe even an anniversary. It could have even been that your divine masculine ghosted you on a special occasion because he was up to things but something came to light. For some of you, you literally found receipts for a restaurant, a hotel, or some type of travel. And for others of you, you just found the receipts that you were looking for in general. So after you found the evidence, Divine Feminines, there was a blow up, and this caused a major tower moment between you and your Divine Masculine. You pondered for a few days on what actions you were going to take because you knew deep down in your heart, Divine Feminines, it was over because this was a never ending cycle of your divine masculine's infidelity. You warned your divine masculine that if he ever put you in this situation again, there is no coming back. So he tried you for the last damn time. He didn't believe you because he was so used to you coming back time and time again. But in your mind, divine feminines, you said, I can show you better than I can tell you. And you went ghost on your divine masculine. So this karmic meddled in you and your divine masculine's relationship. For some of you, this could have been a workplace affair or this could have been someone from your Divine Masculine's past. For some of you, it could even be a baby mother, but this person interfered in your connection with your Divine Masculine. For some of you, it was hanging out late after work, getting drinks. And for others of you, your Divine Masculine could have told you that he had to travel for work for the weekend. And for those of you, if your Divine Masculine has a baby mother, he would tell you that he's going to go see his kids. He's got the kids for the weekend, yada, yada, yada. But the T is they were still sleeping with each other. So this last breakup, Divine Feminines, it hurt you to your core. A lot of you were so hurt that you couldn't even get out of bed. And you just can't believe that you gave this person everything and they stabbed you in the back. But you did a complete turnaround, Divine Feminines. You shifted your energy. There's a big change. You went through a major transformation. You have made a lot of positive changes in your life. You're not the same as you used to be. Your thought process is different. Your vibe is different. And you have elevated yourself spiritually. Now that you have gone cold and silent on your Divine Masculine, he's looking at you as being very mysterious. He can't figure you out like he used to. You have blocked your energy from your Divine Masculine. And now you are the focus of his attention 24-7. He can't stop thinking about you. For some of you, your divine masculine could have brought a baby on into this connection. This child could be six months to six years old. And for some of you, someone here is six months pregnant. But now your divine masculine is seeing that you are walking your walk and talking your talk. You are not feeding into his lies anymore. But now he wants to rush in as this knight of swords, wanting to reconcile with you three of cups because he feels like you're about to be in a new connection with the Two of Cups. But right now, what I'm seeing, Divine Feminines, is that you are more concerned about your mental health, your finances and your career, your family, and you're all about your faith and spirituality. You have shut down this cycle. You have turned your back with this Three of Wands. You have come out of this depressive state. A lot of you are still healing but you have made major strides in your life since walking away from your Divine Masculine because a lot of you, since you have walked away, you have glowed up, okay, with this Ace of Pentacles while your Divine Masculine is getting his karmic justice. He is obsessively thinking about your style. He loves your swag. For some of you, you could wear wigs. Some of you like to wear makeup. I'm seeing red lipstick. Somebody out there has a short blonde bob hairstyle. Someone out there has red hair. Someone likes to put their hair in a bun. Someone can also be wearing a cross chain. Someone also wears glasses. 
someone has a shoe fetish and a hat fetish. Some of you like to wear a lot of form-fitting clothes. And for others of you, you are a little bit laid back and you like jogging suits and sneakers. And someone out there loves sports. I'm also seeing motorcycle. Somebody could also be in the travel industry or hospitality management. I'm also seeing financing, banking, investments, real estate. Someone could wear a suit and tie to work. I'm also seeing someone could be of Indian descent. Someone likes horseback riding or hiking. And some of you have your own business and you work from home. But your divine masculine just loves your swag. You're someone that he doesn't typically date. But you caught your divine masculine's eye because he saw that you were very successful. So in the beginning, divine feminines, he was looking at you like a cash cow. What can you do for him? But see, he didn't know who you were. He didn't know your spiritual ranking. He didn't know who he was messing with. And whatever he was trying to do, whatever spells he was trying to put on you, Divine Feminines, it backfired because now he's having financial issues. He wanted to control you. He wanted to have your success. He wanted what you had. He was very jealous and envious of you. And little did he know that you had to work your ass off for where you are right now. You had to work for everything you got, Divine Feminines. But see, he's seeing the end result. He didn't know what the fuck you had to go through to get where you are. And he was jealous of that. He was a hater. And I feel like you started to peep that out. He started to try to belittle you. He didn't like to give you recognition or praise because he felt like you had it easy. A lot of you are college grads, bachelors, masters. Some of you have a doctorate. And if that's not the case, a lot of you have your own business. And he was jealous of you. And that's why he sabotaged the connection. That's why he was trying to control you to get to your finances. But see, your angels and ancestors step in just in the nick of time. And they call judgment on this connection. This was a spiritual lesson that you had to learn, Divine Feminines. And you taught your Divine Masculine a very valuable lesson. Never judge a book by its cover. Because he thought you were easy. He thought you were gullible. He thought you were naive. And he thought that he could control you like he did the rest. But you got your back turned, Divine Feminines. It's all about you now. You're in the Three of Wands energy. You're all about the future. You're all about investing, saving, traveling, doing you, going on girls' trip, going on guys' trips. You still think about this hurt from time to time. And you wish that things would have worked out with your Divine Masculine. But you're also not going to be someone else's puppet or sacrifice. So you took your self-respect, your power, and your dignity, and you walked the fuck away. Now he feels some type of way about how he treated you. Because during this separation, you have humbled your Divine Masculine. Your angels and ancestors are making him think about what the fuck he did to you. He can't get you off his mind. And now he feels like you put a spell on him because he can't stop thinking about you. So now he's going to be coming in as this Knight of Swords and Knight of Cups. Wanting to reconcile with you. When I tell you that this man can't eat or sleep and has major anxiety about you. It's an understatement. He fantasizes about you all the time, Divine Feminines. He keeps replaying this reconciliation in his mind. What it's going to be like. Are you going to accept the offer? Are you guys going to be together again? Because he wants this victory with the Six of Wands. But it looks like he's still letting his pride and ego get in the way. Even though he wants this victory, he's stubborn as hell. He's very fearful of you, Divine Feminines, because he doesn't know what you know. For a lot of you, you could be a tarot reader, you can be an empath or a light worker because you have the high priestess here, you have the hierophant here, and you have the empress here. And for some of you, your divine masculine knows what you do for a living spiritually. So he's kind of fearful to come forward because he doesn't know if you know all his secrets. And like I said before, with this magician, he feels like he put a spell on him. He feels like that's why he can't stop thinking about you. But see, the spells that he put on you, divine feminines, backfired on his ass. And that's why he can't stop thinking about you. But even though your divine masculine goes back and forth in his mind on when he's going to reach out, he's going to do it with this king of swords. But he's having a lot of internal struggles about doing so because he's ashamed of what he did to you. But he also knows that a lot of time has passed by and that you're going to get scooped up by someone else if you haven't already. A lot of you are in a new connection already. And that's why he's all up in his head. Because you have gone cold. You have gone silent. You have become mysterious. And he fears this rejection. Meanwhile, in Karmicville, this Karmic is still trying to hold on to your Divine Masculine with the Nine of Cups. She wants to work things out with this Three of Pentacles. 
But your divine masculine is trying to sneak away from this karmic seven of swords to come see you, divine feminines, the lovers and the empress. She knows that the divine masculine wants to come back to you because you have the chariot and you have the six of swords. And he's not paying her any attention like he did in the past. That relationship has gone cold. Your divine masculine has his walls up and he essentially detached himself from that situation. Your divine masculine ended this situation a long time ago in his mind. Ever since you found out about this karmic divine feminines, that relationship ended up being a disaster because the thrill is gone. They were found out. So it's no more sneaking and creeping no more. It's not fun anymore. Their lies and games caught up with them. And with this five of swords and seven of swords being here, your divine masculine found out that she is just as manipulative as he is. Two peas in a motherfucking pod. He was cheating on her. She was cheating on him. There was a lot of deception going on behind each other's backs. She was thinking that the divine masculine was coming to see you. And she was telling him that she had options as well to make him jealous. So that was a very toxic and dysfunctional connection. But your divine masculine walked away with the eight of cups. Because he's fixated on you divine feminines. He knows that you are his six of cups. He knows that you are the empress. He knows that this is a divine connection and he can't shake you. No matter how hard he tried to forget you or replace you, he only ended up hurting himself because none of those relationships worked out. And now he's seeing you shining from the sidelines. He's seeing that you're happier. He's seeing your glow up. And now he's fuming because he made the wrong decision. But see, this is the lesson that he had to learn. He had to learn that he needed to stop being superficial and look at someone's interior, not exterior. Because now he's seeing Divine Feminines that you had nothing but love for him. He is so disappointed in his actions. And this whole situation was just to make you jealous, Divine Feminines. He was used to a lot of attention with the Six of Wands. But Divine Feminines don't chase, we replace. Why should you have to chase? If someone genuinely loves you, it should be an equal partnership. There shouldn't be any one-upping. There shouldn't be any jealousy. But see, your divine masculine didn't understand the concept of monogamy. He didn't understand the concept of true love until you came into his life. Because he grew up in a toxic household. He was used to being in toxic relationships. And he thought that you weren't edgy enough. But he still kept you around because he knew that there was something different about you. But all along, he was playing the field until he figured out what this connection was all about. But see, he played way too many games. And he ended up losing you in the end. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. So in the extended reading, I'm going to see why did the Divine Masculine sabotage the connection. I'm also going to see how does the Divine Masculine feel about you right now since you have gone cold. What is the real reason why your Divine Masculine wants to reconcile with you now? What is the karmic up to and are they still communicating? And then we're going to see what does your Divine Masculine want to tell you, Divine Feminines. So if you guys would like to purchase the extended reading, it's for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you guys are free to check it out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.